Hey, and welcome to another video. So last week I shared a video where I went over my top 10 favorite dolls from the w Integrity Toys W Club since 2008 to present. So like my top 10, um, because at the beginning of every W Club year, they give up one to three dolls as an offer that you can add to your membership. So you can get those dolls added onto your club year and then, you know, it's like exclusive to that W Club year. So I mentioned in that video that I also had like my least favorite, uh, my 10 least favorite dolls from the W Club years. And I was like, and I can share that if you guys would be interested in it. And a couple of people said that they were. So I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and share it. I didn't do this originally with the other video because I was like, I didn't want, if people didn't want to see the negative side, they don't have to. But now if they don't want to see it, they can skip it. If you do want to see it, you're here. So now I'm going to go over my 10 least favorite dolls. First, before I start this, I wanted to give the same um, credits to the people I did in the last video. And that's Jen FL2 on Flickr. And then the Integrity Toys reference site, you can see them both down here in the bottom of the slide. They, without th them, it would have been so much harder to get this done because they just had like a very comprehensive list and then Integrity Toys was just like the perfect reference site with all the dolls. It's really easy to like navigate and I've used it in a lot of my videos. So again, huge thank you to both of these people. But now um, I also wanted to put in a little note. So if you're someone who gets very defensive or um, someone who like doesn't like when people talk bad about dolls that they care about really deeply, um, I don't give too many like negative reviews I think on my channel. I don't really know that I have ever. Um, and I'm not going to be like bashing these dolls too harshly or anything. But if you're someone who doesn't like criticism towards dolls that they feel like really close to, that's totally okay. This video just might not be for you. Because I might talk about a doll that you love a lot and maybe I don't like it. It all comes down to like your personal feelings. Like these are literally just my preferences and my preference should not dictate how you feel about your dolls and vice versa so if you enjoy the dolls that's fine if you don't like my opinion that's totally okay uh but yeah i just wanted to say that before we started the video but let's go ahead and get to um the dolls oh also i'm gonna start at number 10 and going to one with one being my ultimate least favorite ever and 10 being like it's towards the how do i explain it the higher end it's like i don't like the doll but it's not the worst doll to me from the w club upgrade dolls if that makes sense so i'm progressively gonna like them less and less as i get closer to the number one spot i hope that makes sense but let's go ahead and get to doll number 10. okay at doll number 10 we have ready to dare natalia who is an upgrade doll in 2012. so with a lot of these dolls um it's not always like the doll as a whole i dislike Sometimes it's like, I don't like the doll. Sometimes it's the fashion or like somewhere in between. Um, oh, also this doll's edition size is unknown to me. But for me, this Natalia, the reason she is on this list is because the fashion. Um, I love the doll. I think she's actually really pretty. I love her little like blowout moment she has going on. I like her really soft makeup. She's a very pretty doll. But the fashion... Again, maybe in 2012, this was absolutely stunning and killing it, like, just next level. But it just looks so dated to me. And again, it was a t doll that came out in 2012. So, you know, nothing against her. But for me, it's just a very kind of dated look. She kind of gives me, like, Desperate Housewives vibes, which maybe that was kind of the point. So I don't hate her or anything, but I would just never go out of my way to get this doll complete. I'm just not feeling the fashion. I do not like the fashion. And that's just what it comes down to. And that pink, white, and green bag, it really takes me back to, especially when I was in high school, which was around 2012, the girls having like the, their initials, was it like anagrams or something? In like those pink, white, and green bags and like the initials and ugh. I, I was never a fan of that whole trend, but it really reminds me of that, which again, that might be what it's referencing, but yeah. So she, Ready to Dare Natalia comes in at number 10 of my least liked. Now, number nine on my least liked W Club upgrade dolls is Be Daring Imogen from 2016. Her edition size is unknown. So I want to say real quick, some people might be stunned by this, 
but she's on this list because of the doll. I love this fashion. This outfit is incredible. Like, I love, like, the little bust closure piece and the little peekaboo. I love the little skull with the um, chain details, and then she has the skull earrings and the skull ring. Like, this doll... Okay, let me clarify. This fashion is just next level. I love this fashion. And then the fact that it has like all these gothy like little details, but then the suit itself is such a light color. It's so cool. I love it. But what I don't love is the doll. And I don't know if this is because like maybe I'm not a fan of Imogen or maybe it's just this screening possibly, but I do not like this doll at all. Like I would love to get my hands on this fashion. The fashion is so cool, but I have zero interest in this doll at all. It's not often I see a um, modern, which I guess 2016, I, you could still consider kind of like in the modern era of Integrity Toys. At least I do. I guess like, I don't know, maybe kind of like when I was in high school onward, I kind of consider the more modern. Like this doll isn't 10 years old yet. So it's not often I dislike a doll really but yeah she here I don't know I'm just not feeling Imogen at all so she's gonna come in at number nine I know this one's gonna cause some controversy so number eight is Summer Rose Eugenia and I want to prep oh she was a 2023 upgrade doll this was my first year being in the W Club so I could have actually gotten this doll and her addition size is um, unknown I love 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 the doll this eugenia is so pretty like she's very very pretty doll however i don't like anything she's wearing i don't like the headband i don't like the dress i do love the shoes the shoes are cute but other than the shoes and the doll i don't like anything else about this doll at all so i mean the ring's cute too but um you know it's just a ring so it's just I don't know and she's a moment and her original version I do like a lot better the kind of like pastel version with the dark hair is really pretty but yeah I just I can't I don't know I don't like the fashion at all it's just not for me um the silhouette's kind of interesting but I think it's just like maybe the colors and the fabric I don't know I don't know but I've just never vibed with this Eugenia um but the doll herself is stunning love the doll just the fashion not even a little bit okay so number seven on my list is ultraviolet poppy parker she was a 2022 upgrade doll and her addition size was 3173 so i almost joined the w club this year um 2022 i like watched the announcement and everything and i debated but with this poppy i love like i think this is one of the most beautiful base poppies i love the deep skin tone, the like haircut with the hime cut. I think that's how you say it. And the makeup and everything. The Poppy herself is so pretty. But the fashion is just, it's just not for me. And I know it was supposed to be kind of like, I think 70s is what um, the designer said, like 70s inspired. But it's just not for me. And... Yeah, I don't know what else to say other than that. Beautiful doll, just not... There's not a single piece of her outfit that I'm like, yes, I'd love to have that. I'm, it's kind of just like a huge overall pass for me. So yeah, that's number seven. Let's get to number six. So number six is Ollie Lawson, Vice Effect. He was a 2015 upgrade doll with an addition size of 600. He... Okay, I don't have anything against boys because there's actually another uh, boy upgrade doll who almost made it into my top 10. He was incredible. But this one, I love the pastel suit. And um, that's great. But what I can't get behind is the doll and this hair. Like, I know it's supposed to be, I'm pretty sure like an 80s, um, like 80s Vice Miami situation. And I get it's probably a pretty faithful like ah this is like what it was but I do not like it at all like it's just ugh, it is not for me the fashion again is incredible I'd actually love to get my hand on this fashion it's so pretty again the pastels I'm always a sucker for but yeah I just I'm not a big fan of the face up it's okay um but the hair is 
it kills me. I cannot with this hair. So yeah, he's not for me, and he's coming in at number six. Okay, so now we are coming in at number five on my least like list, and we have Rivri Riv Rivera. Why am I struggling with that? Rivera Drama Agnes. She was a 2017 upgrade doll with an addition size of 1,585. And my problem with this Agnes is just she feels too simple to me. Like, I really like upgrade dolls to, like, really pack a punch. And she just – it's just too simple for me. I love the color. I love the hairstyle. But – She's just very simple. And then her makeup is so, like, neutral and nude. And then I know she has, like, that little red clutch. But I don't know. For me, it's just, like, there's not enough. I need something to, like, pack a punch, like a bright lip or some – I don't know. I don't know what I want, but – or maybe, like, a big statement necklace. But you wouldn't want that with the one shoulder thing. I don't know. It's, it's just something – it's not giving enough to me. It's just, okay, like, if I was – walking through a museum of all the integrity toys dolls and i passed her i just kind of like you know shrug i'm like okay she's fine like i don't hate her but she's yeah she's just a shrug which is almost like a crime to me with integrity dolls like i always want to be in awe of my integrity dolls because they are so high like not high edition they're such um high quality and so luxe so like when i pass one and i just kind of shrug it's just like i don't know so yeah, she comes in at number five on my least liked list. Okay, so now we are at number four on the list, and I feel like this one might be surprising, not surprising, but controversial for some people because, again, I know Poppy Parker has a big, big following. But Dream Teen Poppy Parker, a 2012 upgrade doll, edition size unknown, comes in at number four for me. And I think she has a really pretty face, a cute ponytail but I just am not a fan like nothing I, I don't like the dress I don't like the like styling of it I don't know like the orange with the open white part and I'm sure this might is probably has like references that are based off of real fashion from the time period that she's referencing I'm guessing like the 50s um I'm sure it has like it's not out from out of nowhere but for me I'm just not interested in it. Like, I just don't like it, I guess. It's, yeah, I think that's all it comes down to is I just don't like it. I like the orange and pink. I think it's really fun when people pair those colors together. But the tiny little kitten hill, the kind of like orange, I don't even know what to call it, like piping going up the middle and then the white piece popping out. I love the little orange bow. That's cute. But yeah. This doll is another one I would just kind of like shrug going by. I was, like, she's cute, but I would never, I have no inkling to ever like want to own this doll. Like, not the doll, which again is cute. The doll is pretty, or the outfit, but both of them would it'd just be like, eh, you know? So yeah, she comes in at number four. Now we are at number three, and it, we have Cruise Control Vanessa. She was the 2009 W Club upgrade doll in addition size of 900. So this is very early days of the W Club. And to be honest, it's just because, like, the doll's cute. Like, I again, it's just a bit dated to me, which, you know, it makes sense. You know, it's 2009. That was a quite a, some time ago. So it's not a big deal that it's dated. It's not like the end of the world. It's not like this is an egregious doll. But for me and my taste, I just have little interest in owning a doll that, like, so much resembles 2009 era, I guess. Like, the stripes and then the shorts that are, like, I don't know, mid-thigh length. And I don't know. The glasses are kind of funny and cute. But they're not funny. Um, I like it. It reminds me of, like, what all the girls, like, the pop divas were wearing in their music videos back then. But the doll, she's pretty, but I just think she's just very dated. And that's, again, expected. There was nothing done wrong here. I don't think anyone should be punished for this design or anything. It's just, it's dated and not something I'm interested in. That's about it. But I think she's a really cute doll. Okay, so now we are at number two of my least liked upgrade dolls. 
And we have Rising Sun Kiori, a 2011 upgrade doll, edition size of 420. So this doll is just giving like rich PTA mom to me. <laughs> and that's honestly why I'm just not a fan. Like it's, I don't know. I feel like I just saw the, this type of mom walking around and she's just like a Karen before Karens became a thing. It's, yeah, I'm just not a fan. And I love Kiori's face sculpt. Like, it's very pretty. But I'm, I don't know. It's kind of like the blue and gold and then the orange and then, then the all white. Like, it's interesting, but it's just giving PTA mom so hard to me. And maybe because I was kind of like a kid and this is how moms dressed when I was a kid. I don't know. But it's, yeah, it's just giving PTA mom to me. And I think the haircut is really odd. Like, I don't even think that was a popular haircut in 2011, if I remember correctly. Like, it's almost kind of 90s or 80s or something to me. Again, I'm not a professional with all these decades. I wasn't alive for all of them. But it's, I don't know. I just don't find myself interested in really anything. Like, I love the necklace and would love to, like, find another way to use that. And the shoes are cute, but... As a whole, I have no interest in this doll. So she comes in at number two. But now let's get to number one, which is my least liked W Club upgrade doll ever made. So my number one like disliked W Club upgrade doll ever is Fashion Explorer Vanessa Perrin, a 2014 W Club upgrade doll with an edition size of a thousand. So this doll, I was so perplexed when I first saw her. Um, for starters, 2014 is when I graduated uh, high school. So I still have a good idea of like what fashion was popular back then and stuff like that. And I don't think this was necessarily unfashionable, but okay, let's get to the doll first. I have a Vanessa, I've seen a couple of Vanessas. Is it just me or does this doll have a huge forehead? Like the hairline looks really far back or something. I don't know. She's, she's just got a lot of forehead going on here. And then also the makeup, it's cute. But when we jump over to the outfit, to me, it's giving Laura Croft Tomb Raider where she's trying to be casual and fashion, like fashion-y, but hasn't quite figured it out. You know, because Laura Croft's always ready. You know, she's in, like, the short shorts and the, like, what, tank top. And it looks like she they're like, okay, we're going to go undercover and be casual or something. And, like, this is her trying to be casual. And it just doesn't hit the mark for me. It's a very, I don't know. It's just, I'm very perplexed by this doll. I don't know what's worse, the, like, huge forehead or the fashion. I don't know. It's just, she's not for me. Uh, not at all. I'm just, yeah. I don't know. I Looking through all the W Club upgrade dolls, I was just kind of shocked to see this doll. She's really reading, I don't even know what more to say. Like, I'm not trying to be, like, overly negative, but I just don't like her. I just really do not like her. I don't like the doll, and I don't like the fashion. Um, the boots are, like, they look like combat boots, but then they were like brought up higher, which can be kind of cool, but paired with this outfit, again, it's just giving Laura Croft trying to be casual or fashionable. I'm not sure. So yeah, this is my least favorite W Club upgrade doll ever. Okay, so that is the end of this video. Again, this was all just for fun, like no hate towards the designers or like if you really like any of these dolls, don't let my opinions shift that for you. It was literally just for fun. Um, I just, you know, I enjoy these types of uh, things when people talk about like their opinions on dolls or like ranking dolls or um, talking about their own collections and things like that. So I just thought it'd be fun. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, as always down in the description, you can find my social medias like my Instagram, um, also on my channel. I mean, I've been really behind. A lot's going on behind the scenes, but I do want to get back to soon posting my sim series which is um i'm doing a sim series but it's also doll related it's the barbie legacy and i've been having fun with that i plan to get back to that very soon and then also i have it'll be linked in the description but i have a podcast that i've been doing with my brother 
and we just talk about things we're obsessed with each week and i have a whole segment that is like dedicated to dolls in every single episode so if you'd be interested in that be sure to check it out but yeah i guess that's about it and i hope to see you on the next one bye